hello so today we talk about uh, what is myelinite in geology so in this video we also talk about uh, how myelinite forms so myelinite is a foliated and uh, usually linear rock that shows evidences for strong ductile deformation and normally contains rounded porphyroclasts and uh, lithic fragments of uh, similar composition myelinite refers to rock dominantly uh, deformed by ductile flow while brittle deformation uh, may play a minor role in the formation of myelinites so myelinite is a strictly structural term that uh, refers only to the fabric of the rock and does not give information on the mineral composition myelinite should uh, therefore not be used as a rock name in uh, stratigraphic sequence so myelinite is actually only a fabric of rock not a, uh, not a, a rock type for uh, stratigraphic uh, uh correlation or stratigraphic uh, sequences see here this is the myelinite rock uh, so you can see the porphyro clusters of uh, myelinite uh, surrounded by finer grain uh, ground mass the grain size is highly deformed actually due to the uh, ductile deformations and brittle deformations see here formation of myelinite so myelinites are uh, ductly deformed rock formed by the uh, accumulation of large shear strains in uh, ductile fault zone there are many different views on the formation of uh, myelinites but it is generally agreed that uh, crystal plastic deformation must have occurred and that fracturing and cataclastic flow are uh, secondary process in the formation of myelinites So myelinite form uh, at the depth of uh, no less than four kilometer. It means it is forms uh, around uh, four kilometer or in transition zone between uh, uh, the depth of four kilometer. So as you can see this photograph, this is the showing uh, how myelinite forms. So as you can see, this is the upper crust, lower crust, and middle crust, and this is the fault zone which is running along these planes. so this plane is actually highly deformed due to the fault zone and see here this is the myelinite rock which is forms near the shear zone so myelinite is actually forms due to the uh, ductile deformation and uh, brittle deformations apart from that that is also forms due to the cataclastic flow and fracturing so uh, cataclastic uh, uh, flow is actually uh, involves in the crenulations uh, uh, crushing are milling uh, of the original rock then uh, rigid body rotations and translation of uh, mineral grains are aggregates before uh, lithifications so this zone is actually highly crushed due to the fault zone and shear zones and this process is actually responsible for the formation of myelinite rock myelinite textures so myelinites are uh, rock that have undergone uh, modifications of original textures by predominantly plastic flow due to the uh, dynamic recrystallizations the formation of myelinites occurs at depths below uh, brittle faults in uh, continental and oceanic crust as i said in previous slide the microstructures that form uh, during myelinitization vary according to uh, original mineralogy and uh, model compositions temperatures confining pressure strain rate applied stresses and the presence or absence of fluids is also uh, responsible for uh, microstructures formation in myelinite rock see here the texture of uh, myelinite rock that is highly uh, crushed and deformed see the ground mass and uh, uh, porphyroclasts So as I said, the mineralogy change as per temperature, pressure, fluids, and uh, all those things. Myelinite classifications. So myelinites are classified according to the metamorphic grade at which uh, deformation took place, or uh, according to the uh, lithotype or mineralogy in which uh, they are developed, like uh, quartzite myelinite, granodiorite myelinite, quartz uh, feldspar myelinites. Another commonly used classification of myelinite is based on the percentage of matrix as compared to porphyroclasts. So, on the basis of matrix, there are three type of uh, myelinites. First one is uh, proto myelinites. So, it is a rock in the near uh, in the early stage of myelinitizations containing more than 50% porphyroclasts. 
with the onset of uh, deformation uh, protomarinite shows uh, mortar textures with a very fine grain matrix surrounded surrounding large residual grains of the parent rock the rock has coarse uh, foliations and uh, rather weak uh, lineation actually The second one is Jemalinite. So it is a foliated and uh, lineated rock which has undergone a drastic uh, reduction in grain size by dominantly crystal plastic processes. A malinite contains 10 to 50 percent porphyroclasts and uh, 50 to 90 percent of uh, ground mass or uh, matrix. So ultramalinite is uh, hard flint like and dark which is uh, the visual result of uh, extreme grain size reduction and uh, dynamic recrystallizations. Other type of uh, uh, malinite is uh, uh, blastomalinite. It is uh, malinite with uh, significant static uh, recrystallization, and uh, the other one is uh, phyllonite. That is uh, fine grained uh, mica rich malinite. See here, malinite rock. See the porphyroclast and ground mass, and how the rock is actually deformed see the flint like appearance as i said in previous slide this is looks like a flint actually to know the latest updates on geotourism and modern geotechnics subscribe our channel and press the bell icon